The tip for this week is another way to do short rows. These are German short rows and they're currently my favorite. Um, well, because I like the way the back looks. And I'm at the point where I'm going to turn for my short row. I've got four stitches left and I'm going to work them every four stitches. So I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to make sure that George, don't, 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 that my yarn is in front. I'm going to slip that stitch. I'm going to pull the yarn over my needle. Now notice that it's got this little like V thing here. I don't want to pull this, stop chewing the yarn. I'm going to pull this tight, but not so tight because that's going to make these stitches smaller. I'm going to try and use the same tension and I'm going to purl to my next turn. So that's how you do it when the turn is on the right side, meaning that the first stitch you work is on the wrong side. And I'm going to work to four stitches. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn. And my yarn is in back now, so I need to bring it to the front. I need to slip this stitch and I'm going to bring my yarn around. Now notice I'm creating that same sort of little weird V thing and I'm just going to knit that stitch. And again, you don't want to pull it so tight that you're strangling. And I'll work one more set of these. And I work up to my double stitch. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the last one. I turn. My yarn is already in the front. I slip it. You're always slipping pearl-wise, by the way. Otherwise, it'll be a twisted stitch. Um, I'm going to pull my yarn forward, and I'm going to work pearl to the next location. One, two, three, four. Oop, there it is. And I'm going to turn. I'm going to bring my yarn forward, slip pearl-wise, pull my yarn, but not too tight, and now I'm ready to work the short rows. Now this is where this is so much easier than the other methods because you don't need to readjust the mount of anything or deal with those wraps. You just simply knit into the yarn and it's kind of yarn over thing there. Knit it, work to the next one, knit it, and then work to the end and then I'll turn and then I'll work those on the wrong side. And I'm going to work down. I got to purl a little bit until I get to the first one. Okay, and there's my double stitch. And I do the same thing. I just purl into both of them. And this is a lot easier, I think, um, than the wrap and turn. I can never remember which way I'm wrapping and turning and slipping and all of that. This is just fairly straightforward. Now, the thing that I really like about this is that if you look at the wrong side, when you do short rows with the wrap and turn, it leaves these big loopy things. And there is a loopy thing here, but it looks like a purl stitch on the wrong side. It's much smaller and less noticeable.